Hi and welcome. I'm John and this is Unique Wargaming Gaming Terrain. Guys, last week's terrain build, I actually love to tell you I love the boards. Fantastic. Yes, boards. Shit. I've stripped them. Okay, they're not finished being stripping, stripped, but it's just a little bit more tidy up work on that and that's done. This week, I've got two more pieces of board. Okay, to, that come up. Okay, two more pieces of board cut that came off the same sheet of polystyrene as the other four. Okay, so this week I'm gonna, I'm gonna tie up the two ash boards, get rid of those. Okay, you don't need to see me doing that because this, this, I'm gonna recycle the same thing and see at least the same thing again. But I'm gonna do something with these other two as well. Okay, I might end up only working on one of them. I'm, I'm not sure yet, but my aim is to work on both of them. and just make something nice. Um, I'm probably thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm using the bits of card that I have floating around, okay, to um, make some sort of fortification or ruined building or, or something like that on the boards. John, you made a ruined building a couple of weeks ago with X25, I'm like, yeah, but this is with card and it's on the board and it's to go with the, the, the boards. It's a bit different. So, guys, if you're new to the channel, sit back, and enjoy, take a look, at, go back and have a look at a few other videos that I've already done because some of them are really good. Well, most of them are really good, but some of them are. Absolutely so outstanding. If you're a regular here, guys, I feel the love. Sit back and enjoy because you know the craziness with this battery into you. Guys, I'll see you after this. Right, I was going to use the car boxes right around, like I said, but I, I got some of this material. Okay, now I don't know what this is material is called, but um, we got a load, load of handheld units in work and they came packaged in this material. It's not polystyrene, it's not foam, it's sort of plasticky type thing. It looks like it's expanding foam, yeah, but it's not, it's but it's plastic, it's, it's weird. Someone said it's styrofoam, I don't know if that's the correct term of it. If someone knows, check on below. But they're all these weird shapes. Now just, this is basically, yeah, it's, it's double what this is. It's exactly the same, but again, with bar in the middle. So I just started trimming one down, I just started slapping a few bits together and because I've got loads of bits of card that I cut to, to work on it. But look at this. <laughs> so I've got the camera at a funny angle so I can see what I'm doing. Look, none of this is glued. I'm just dry fitting it to see, to see what tickles my fancy. What do you think about that? It's a bit crazy. But the, the good thing with this is, because these side pieces, let me take this piece off here for a second. These pieces here are the same one here. So I can cut them again for another piece and have it the same height. So they could be put together and there could be walkway just placed between them. So you've got two individual pieces of terrain on two different tiles. So if you're doing a tile structure like, you know, Game of 40K or something like that, you can have them, one one side of the board, one the other side of the board, or you can have them close together and have a, a walkway between them. That's what I'm going to do, you know, that's what I'm looking at and thinking. So, um, anyway, that's why I'll show you where I'm at, because I was going to do card, and then I'm like, cutting all these mad shapes of card, and I think, oh yeah, it doesn't line up, and oh, headache, headache, headache. So, this is what I'm going to go with, I'm going to try and do it twice. So guys, I'm going to get back to it now. Right, so I've hot glued one, I'm just cutting this one now, I'm just trying to, do as much modification to it as possible. I want to try and make it the same sort of height. So I'm just Cardstock that I'm using is from a supermarket. 
um, fruit and veg section. Usually I have the big uh, boxes full of all the bits of fruit and veg. Now, don't just help yourself. Always ask someone, look, is it okay if I take a box of, you know, an empty box? It's looking pretty good. Another piece. Yeah. Now, the cardboard on top here is the same height as the cardboard on that one. So then I can actually make a, a wall face to go between the two. So um, I'm going to hot glue this one down and I'll come back to you after, guys. So, guys, this is one piece. Hot glue down. Now, the only thing I need to do on this, I think, after I've cleared all the wispy bits, is just do some embellishments here and there. I mean, I think that's pretty okay from just making it from nothing. There's one piece. Okay. Now, we will have pretty pictures all at the end, so there's no, no panic here. Just going to show you this one as well. Okay, this is another one. All made from the same piece of foam. You can see on the side here, I've just embellished it a little bit. So there's the same sort of idea. So I'll clear all the wispy bits off on the other one. I mean, there's, it, it's, it looks like a nice solid fortification. Now, well, you could have a nice objective marker in there. It could just be uh, a fortification slash type of ruins. I need to do a walkway to go between the two, but I want the walkway to be uh, separate, so it can be added. So wherever these tiles end up, yeah, and you which way they end up, I can then put walkway on. Um, yeah, it's looking pretty good. I'm gonna get straight back to it, guys. Right, so I'm gonna make the walkway. So what I've got is two dividers, okay? These are space dividers. Now, if you get one of these boxes, Fruit bench boxes, sometimes they come with these inside them. They either really long like these ones, or they're really short, but they're perfect, they're a nice L shape, okay? So, tell you a little sneaky thing here. If I was making trenches, this is this is what I would base the trench on, okay? Might be like slightly wider or whatever, but this is what I'd base the trench on. So what I've done, I've got a piece of cardstock, I've put them together, put them on, Lined it up to the edge, and then all I've done is draw around it. Okay, so I'm just going to get a straight edge, I'm going to give it a cut, some hot glue on One of my viewers is going to go, oh, John, I gave you a hot glue gun. Yes, you did, Vera. And I, I have been testing it out here and there. But with the way I'm living with time at the moment, I don't want to be using something that I'm not 100% familiar with. I'd rather be saying quick and easy that, I, that I'm 100% familiar with. And the, the glue gun that was given to me by one of my viewers is absolutely amazing. It's absolutely proper heavy duty amazing. So thank you for that, Barra. Right. So now we have a walkway. Okay. Now, 
don't worry too much about these, this Colgate card stuff here, okay? Because we can cover it up afterwards. Or, when it's undercoated black, you can just dry brush that silver and it'll look like, um, it'll look like something like girders, okay? Now, that's the only little problem you're gonna have there. And you've ruined. But that's not so much of an issue because we can cut modify little pieces on the end or we can take a pe tiny piece of foam board and glue, glue that across there just across the gap between my fingers yeah to hide this the plastic divider the space divider and the bit of card there okay so i'm going to get back to it guys see you in a second All right sorry the lights just gonna weird on me there's a little close up there guys this obviously comes off yeah now this back one here i've turned it around the other way and the gap's only like that far from the platform so you wouldn't need to uh, divide it you know a, a walkway on that but that's a nice yeah, that's gonna mess up me because i'm filming into white but there's the board next to it let's see if i can get a good shot here yeah that's pretty good the only thing with that one there's no opening that side so that's a bit uh i might have to just cut an opening on that which is not a big issue but yeah, that's a that's like a crazy mad fortification, doesn't it? And two boards. Let's get around this one so you can see. The only the only problem I'm looking at now is hand space to get in there with models. But you know, it's not too much of an issue, especially you've got nothing on here, you can just take that off and just work away, can't you? So yeah, anyway guys, back to it. Bye guys. I realized I made a boo-boo. So I took all the top pieces off. Yeah, so we go, oh, no, no, no. I don't glue them back, it's not a problem. But I realized I had the same problem I do every time. I make something wonderful, I put a lid on it for a platform and I can't get underneath it. So I just took them off. I fill them mixed, they're filling mixed now. Um, okay, you can see the darker bits on here and there. So what I've done is, with those bits, I've just, it's not that strong, it doesn't stop there. With, that, with those bits, I've tried to seal the join as much as I can and just uh, run a bit of filler over the top of it to give it a bit of texture here and there. Because by looking at it, when I give it a, a spray, it's really going to, um, it's going to look really good, really, really, really flecked. But, you know, not doing very much effort. The ash balls, I've stripped them, I've refilled and mixed them. Now, this is one of those crazy videos where you start off and you go, I'm going to use card. I haven't used it before, I'm going to use card. I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, blah, 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 blah. Start getting into it. And I was like, no, no, I'm not going to, I haven't got the right, the right shapes and the right bits that I want to make what I want. So now I started experimenting with those bits and here we are. <laughs> so guys, I'm going to get back to it. Right guys, so that's that's looking nice. It's all filling mix nice. As I said, I took these pieces off, okay. But what I'm gonna do, I can't just take it on it looks a bit rough. So I'm gonna go back to this material. Okay, for those of you who don't know what this material is, this is, it's a rubber mat, Euro 50, and it goes on a dashboard in a car. So you put your sunglasses, your phone, whatever on top so it doesn't slide across. But this is absolutely lovely material, so I'm going to measure it out, what I need, and just give a slight cut down. Now, if you haven't seen me use this material before, guys, let's go ahead first, which is over there. If you haven't seen me use this material before, I used it on the big build to make like uh, mesh, uh, like floor grating. And it's a bit of a, it's a lovely material to work with. It's just a bit of a pain when you first start with it because it's, it's um, folded up. So it's all got them creases inside it. Let's go with a sharp, a really sharp blade.
that is how easy it is to cut fruit. Okay, so now you're left with, unless the piece that goes here, what I do is I flip it over so the crease is coming up with so now I can just PVA glue it down. Now, I've on my the big kill team board thing that I, I built, uh, so a good while back, I experimented with PVA glue, you know, um, super glue and all that. And the super glue is fine, both work, but the super glue it starts to try and stick to whatever you're putting on there. Let's have a look what I've got here. Not enough there to go there. What I might do, let's have a look at this piece actually. Okay, so that might be a nice little piece to go in the middle just to break it up a bit. Unless that be sorted. As you can see, look, this is what I'm going to do on this one. So it's not quite touching the edges, but it's still going to give you the nice effects. This cost me a euro fifty from a, a, a deal shop, which is the equivalent of a pound shop or you know a dollar store or something like that. Another good thing with these, I'll show you in a second. But it's, it's, it's all made up of little squares. Okay, so um, when you're trying to get a straight cut on it, you don't need to worry about point top to bottom because you can use these. Yeah, it's, it's, you can use this line coming down as a straight edge. So it's not really simple. Okay, so this is what I've got here so far. Okay. So I'm going to trim this bit in half, I say half, it's probably not going to be perfectly half but it's going to be, I'm going to, I'm going to eyeball it so it's halfway, you hear that banging in the background, I think there's a cow that's got into the room next door. Okay, so that looks, that looks absolutely fine now. Yeah. So I'm going to PVA glue this up down, and then uh, that's good. That's all that needs then is an undercoat. But because here's a nice little trick here: because this is not foam or polystyrene or spandex foam or anything like that, I can use a black spray can on it. So it takes like an hour to dry. Absolutely fantastic. The only thing I have to be careful of is this card. It might try and uh, <laughs> be really porous with the, the spray. So I don't know, we'll test it out when we get to it. So guys, I'm gonna crack back on with it and I'll see you in a second. All right guys, so I've undercoated everything black, okay? Now you might be able to look at it, you can see a, bit of, a few bits of white coming through. Unfortunately, that's just the material and the way it is. But when I dry brush it with a trusty Space Wolf, that should pop and should look really nice like, like the stone does. So I'm going to dry brush those, the two buildings. I've undercutted the tops to go on it as well. Okay, so I've still got the tops to go back on, which I'm going to paint those separate, and then I'm going to hot glue them on. Then I'll dry brush the building itself and dry brush the base. And then that's all good to go. And then we'll have some nice pretty pictures. So um, the two ash boards, 
I had a strip them already. I showed you at the beginning of this video. I think once I stripped them already, they're done. I've, I've got them actually lined up the other two boards. So then I'll put these two onto it at the end and you'll see that all four of them together. So guys, I'll go back to it and I'll see you in a second. Guys, as you just saw in that little picture, he said they look fantastic. Now, they didn't have the, the roofs on them. When I say roof, I mean there's a platform now, you know, so it shows you at the beginning. Now, but sitting there drying, um, I'm thinking just to dry brush them silver. You know, it's not hard. One of them has a bit of foam wall on, so I'd sort that wall out. Um, the walkway itself, 0.2 mil serial card, just a, a thin bit to go across there, both sides, and on the edges. Sorry, both sides. Yeah, and then the edges. This 0.2 serial, serial box card. Give it a black paint, dry brush your silver. You know, I might even get some of this rubber matte stuff, okay, and put it into it. I'm not, not sure yet, but. Now, with the platforms, I put them on, like, after I took them off and hot glue them, just to see how they lined up and, you know, they look good. But at the same time saying it, it's a lot easier and a lot handier not to have them on to get be able to get into get models. Now, with that said, I was actually thinking about it and I would I would prefer the option to have them or not to have them. So some games I could have them on, some games I could have them off. You know, some games one of them might have one on, one might just be a rune next to it. Um so comment below let me know what what you think about that. But uh that's that's it. So the picture you saw is all six tiles and it's cost less than six euros. Just say six euros for argument's sakes. Now only four of those tiles make a kill team board. So six of them, now we're starting to go into the, the area of uh, a 40k board, which is very fantastic. Because that's one that's one board. Okay. Now if I turn them all sideways and line line them down, that'd be ninety inches. So Another three, three more bolts, and I've got the biggest, the biggest size for your cables you can use, or you're meant to use. So <laughs> it's nice and simple and easy. Things have been hectic over the last nearly six weeks because of the little one. So hopefully next week, the little one should be sorted out and everything will be good. Um, come back to business as normal. So guys, if you like that bit, this video. Please hit like, share, subscribe, turn on your notifications. I think the time might have gone a bit too long. I do apologise, guys. But um, check on below and let me know about the the floor. Okay, the flooring on top of the building. If you think it looks good or you think I should leave it, it looks good, but I shouldn't hot glue it on or I should hot glue it on or whatever. Just check on below and let me know. And guys, until next time, I'll see you later.